Hi, 700 Club Canada viewers. The question today is how does someone know if they need to go to therapy or how does someone know when they're ready to stop going to therapy? Well, knowing when to get help has a lot to do with your own sense of distress, whether it's with your emotional or spiritual well-being or your relationships or your ability to cope with the ups and downs of life. If you're feeling overwhelmed or your stress level is high and you're struggling to cope with the demands of work or school, that can be a key that you need help. Now, other signs to look out for is if you can't seem to break patterns of thought or behavior, or you feel stuck, but you don't really know why or how to break free. It can also be helpful if you've just experienced a significant loss or trauma and you just want a safe place to process through your grief and pain. Now, sometimes you may not actually be the best gauge of whether you need help because sometimes we can get so entrenched in our lives that we can't see ourselves objectively. We've always just kind of done life this way, so we can't fathom that there's another way to do things. So if your family and friends are expressing concern, it might be worthwhile to pay attention to what they're noticing. Now, on the flip side, knowing when to stop therapy is also dependent on your overall feeling of well-being and the confidence that you have to cope with the ups and downs of life. Remember, health isn't a lack of problems or suffering, but it's the capacity to cope with our challenges and the confidence to know that we'll be okay with God's help. For many clients who begin to sense that they're ready to stop therapy, they'll begin to wean off of sessions coming maybe monthly or even more occasionally until they stop completely. But then, even then, knowing that you can attend therapy on an as-needed basis is a great way to maintain your health and well-being.